Hey guys, Matt here. First off, spoilers for Avengers Endgame. Like, if you haven't seen this movie yet, please don't watch this video. But once you have seen it, please do watch this video. There are a lot of problems with Avengers Endgame. The goal is a little undefined, the pacing is weird, and there's a few questionable character choices. But fuck all of that, this movie is amazing. The feeling I got watching this movie is literally unlike anything I've ever felt before. This is the crescendo of a 22 movie franchise. No one has ever come close to doing what they do in this movie. I cried like a little bitch in this movie, and not even from just the sad stuff. There are so many absolutely beautiful and moving moments in this movie that bring me to tears. And like, I don't cry. I don't say that to be tough or anything. Don't worry, I'm not. It's just to show how truly spectacular this movie is. There are so many big and little things in this movie that were built across all 21 of these previous films. Literally everything we saw in the trailers happened in like the first 20 minutes of this movie. Like you would figure the whole point of this movie is the Avengers going and defeating Thanos, but nope, the Avengers beat him almost immediately. I love the early conversation between Iron Man and Captain America. Tony's basically pissed because he wanted to create a defense system like Ultron to protect the Earth from something like Thanos. And because Earth didn't have that, Thanos literally killed half the universe's population. It's a great bit of character that makes Age of Ultron feel even more important. This is a really natural character progression for Tony. But that's just the tip of the Chitauri space worm, there are so many great payoffs for other movies in Endgame. And you know one of them is Captain America wielding the Mjornor, 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 Thor's hammer. I mean, what an absolutely incredible payoff. Getting to see the MCU Trinity face off against Thanos was great, but easily the best part of that was Cap's combos with his shield and hammer. This is the Thor arriving in Wakanda moment of this movie, but it's like 20 times better. Seriously, how do you top that? Well, somehow... They do it multiple times in this movie. The Avengers Assemble moment right before the final fight is maybe the greatest moment in the history of the MCU. I mean, they got everyone for this final fight. Except Siv, which is a little disappointing, but like, I wasn't expecting her. It's moments like this that show just how smart Feige and the rest of the MCU showrunners are. These people have planned movie after movie for a moment like this. And we got plenty of really unexpected cameos in this movie. We got Frigga, Alexander Pierce, Crossbones, the Hydra agent guy, the Great One, Agent Carter, Howard Stark, even Natalie Portman. But apparently her scene was actually a deleted scene from Thor 2. But still, how do you top that? Captain America saying Avengers Assemble right before the final fight. Well, they do. When Tony Stark says, I am Iron Man, Christ almighty, what perfect final words from Tony Stark. This movie perfectly wrapped up everything about Tony's arc. Going into this movie, I wanted Cap to die and Tony to live. I figured Cap could never stop fighting, so I mean they had to kind of kill him, and Tony could just retire and settle down with Pepper. I said right before getting in the car to go see this movie, if Tony dies, I'm gonna be pissed. But they found a way to kill Tony off that actually made me happy. He finally got to reconcile with his dad in this movie, one of the most important character threads he has. And I mean, his death just makes so much sense. He's the one who started this whole franchise, and it's finally the end of an era. I mean, there is no way they can top that line, right? Well, they do. Seriously, this movie is impressively good. At Tony's funeral, when they put the proof that Tony Stark has a heart reactor on Tony's reef, my god, what a beautiful callback. That was what really made me cry. Actually, nah, everything after Black Widow's death really made me cry. But there's plenty of little callbacks that just made the fan of me go crazy. When Thor kills Thanos and said, I aim for the head, what a great way to show how broken he is after failing to stop the snap. When they redo the Cap elevator fight, but he just says, Hell Hydra. It's such a great way to have that famous line from the comics without doing that super contrived story arc. There's even that scene in the middle of the battle where Spider-Man says activate instant kill mode. There's that kid from Iron Man 3 who pops up at Tony's funeral. There's even the fact that that song that played during Stephen Peggy's final dance played during Winter Soldier. This movie plays with so much MCU history that not a single other movie could do ever before. But what gave me the most chills was when Falcon said, on your left, right before showing up with literally every character ever. I could just keep going on and on with everything I love about this movie. This is easily my favorite Hulk yet. Like before, I could easily get why you like the Hulk, but he just didn't compare to the rest of the Avengers. Now he's easily as cool as Iron Man or Cap or Thor. That scene where he gave Ant-Man one of his extra tacos was amazing. I mean, come on. I did say the pacing was a little weird in this movie, but that was mostly just because I was afraid we weren't going to get any spectacular super heroics. Like, I was really concerned we weren't going to get an epic ending, but after seeing the whole movie, I mean, I loved everything even more. The start was a little slow, but it did a great job of building the post-snap universe. You know, there's a stereotype that these Marvel movies are predictable, but I think I disagree. I mean, movie after movie, these things continue to surprise me. The fact that the Avengers couldn't do anything about the snap for five years was a big shock. I'm glad we got plenty of time to explore what it was like after the snap on Earth. There were a couple of small nitpicks that I'll get into here. 
First off, I'm kind of disappointed that the Thanos they fought in the end wasn't the same Thanos as the one from Infinity War. Like, it feels just a little bit off. His motivation was a little less interesting. I get where he was coming from, but I would have liked them to give him a little more dialogue to explain himself. I like the fact that he was upset that he saved the universe, but no one could move on or be happy. That makes sense. But I think it would have been more interesting coming from the Thanos we knew. Also, Captain Marvel is just not an interesting character. I loved it when she showed up in the final fight, but she's really just not an interesting character. She seems like the old Thor of this new era of Marvel movies. They need to do something to her character fast, because as is, she's less interesting than one of the Dark Elf lackeys from Thor 2. But overall, this movie is incredible. This really is the end of an era, and I'm sad to see it go. But at the same time, I'm super excited for the future of the MCU. I really want to see Falcon as Captain America, Thor on the Guardians of the Galaxy, Valkyrie leading new Asgard, all the new Avengers members, and that's not even including the X-Men and all that Fox stuff they have to work with now. This movie is a love letter to Marvel fans. This isn't my favorite MCU movie of all time, but it's easily the most incredible. This is 22 movies worth of payoff. It captures the same feeling from the first Avengers movie, and increases it by 3,000. Watching this film was an experience unlike anything else. And it's certainly something to marvel at.